Hello there people of YouTube, I've got something pretty cool to show you today. Storage space and bed space I guess is always a problem inside Minecraft Survival with people always wanting to destroy and take your stuff, especially on PvP servers. So uh, many people have created hidden storage systems where only if you know where to put the lever can you access the um, the materials inside. So yeah, this is what I've created. This is 1.5 ready, hopefully. This was um, built in the newest snapshot. Uh, ooh, up there, yep, third, uh, yep, third, uh, thirteen's the year, week, third week, and it's the first one, so it's A. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Only if you place the lever here will you be able to access it, and it goes a little like this. I've got a bed inside, so I've got a nice place to sleep free from any people wanting to kill me. So yeah, um, this isn't the most compact version because a lot of people simply use a double piston extender here just to raise the block two and then kind of similar to um, to the 3 by 3 door over there which is broken sadly in, a, in this version of Minecraft. But yeah, so most people just use a double piston extender but I liked to use um, a method where it uses four pistons to push it down and then two pistons extract out. Um, pretty similar to the 1x2 flush star I showed in another video. And by doing this I also incorporated this glowstone method where they come from the side and then fill in the space. So if you just watch it again, the glowstone retracts, the pistons get pushed down and then the blocks come forward. Um, these two are filled in by two pistons hidden below the floor and this white line indicates the floor as well. So one more time, opening nice and quick and closing nice and quick also. Now something which I just forgot to mention was that this uh, this like cell is very small, it's only three wide at the back of the wiring, uh, something like ten high I think, because there's a few pistons underneath, and um, yeah, what does it say, like six wide I think, so you're six wide, three deep by ten high and um, if you make a couple of very minor adjustments it is fully stackable as I will show you right in a minute. Okay then this is the stackable version um, as you can see there's like one cell here and one cell here this is like where the two edge bits are combined to form a nice looking like pattern of like two blocks line, two blocks line, two blocks line um, like I said a couple of seconds ago uh, they are some changes you need to make such as adding um, redstone here so if I just show you what would happen if uh, if this redstone wasn't here this piece of redstone from this cell would power this repeat uh, this block which would power this piston um, so you don't want that so you can either like place on a block yeah so place a block there with a torch uh, leave on the side and that'll make it so they go straight into that block which will power the piston which is hiding or you can just place a piece of redstone like that which is a little bit easier and a little bit resource friendly. So yes, I will give you a quick demonstration. Place a lever there and flick it off. As you can see they are perfectly timed. Um, yeah, got a bed, got a chest. Um, and this is infinitely expandable. Um, a couple of other changes which I just forgot to mention. Oh yeah, uh, here you need to place an immovable block. This would usually be used to update this piston, but um, when it's stackable, I realise that it needs to be updated constantly, which is why I placed a uh, what do you call it comparator? A comparator in there, which will update that piston all the time. And I don't want that to cause a double head uh, with this updating it also. So I place a yeah. I'll say it in the end a. Um, Immovable. There we go. Immovable block there to stop that piston from extending. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah. And the final change is you've got to place an immovable block right on this end as well to stop all the pistons in here being pushed over one. Uh, you'll see what I mean by these changes when I build the, build it for you in the tutorial in an upcoming video. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah. And something to mention with this design, which is pretty nice. The, uh, the table one I mean, is that your input can be placed anywhere along the floor here due to the fact that the input is a nice uh, input line like this 
which uh, they then lead into each individual cell and that hits repeater which makes it inverted so that it's by default it's closed which is what you want you don't want to have to have a repeater there otherwise that would give the game away so to speak so yeah I'll uh, fill in this and give you one more quick demonstration okay um, uh, let's prove that it works over here Okay. And I'm an idiot, you can't place it all over because these pistons affect the pistons just under there. So you can't place it directly in front, I'm stupid, but you can place it anywhere not in front of these two here, because if you have a look, there are pistons down there. So yeah, uh, I apologise for the little mistake, but please stick around for the tutorial which will be coming shortly, and yeah, thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.